But local experts are giving tips on how homeowners and pet owners can safely take on the coldest temperatures on record this season. Brianna Malone joins us now in the control room with that advice. Brianna. Sean, the owner of H. Jack Langer Plumbing and Heating Company says there are a variety of things people can do during the cold weather to protect their home. As the winter weather continues in the region, the owner of a local plumbing and heating company says the first thing that homeowners should do is make sure furnaces are up and running. Change your batteries, make sure you got a nice fresh uh, filter in it. If your furnace is making odd noises, he says immediately call and schedule an appointment to have it inspected. Residents can also prevent freezing pipes with a few simple steps. Opening the doors to the cabinet underneath uh, your kitchen sink to let the airflow warm airflow come in and maybe keep them from freezing. Leaving water trickling is also recommended by Langer as he says running water does not freeze. While taking steps to ensure your house stays protected, the director of the Anna Shelter is also helping pet owners practice pet safety in the cold weather. I'm layered up. I've got a hat on today to stay extra warm. Um, obviously our dogs can't do that. She recalls certain areas being more prone to frostbite on dogs like the pads of their feet, eyes, noses, and insides of their ears. As far as keeping your pets safe in these cold temperatures, Thompson says there is a golden rule that all pet owners should keep in mind. Our rule here is when it dips below 25, the dogs are only out for five minutes and then right back, right back in. So um, just again, exercise common sense. Um, if you have concerns, talk to your veterinarian um, about, you know, some smart safety tips. But, you know, if you're cold, they're cold. Langer says his company has received a total of 96 calls from yesterday morning up until this morning regarding frozen pipes and furnaces malfunctioning. Sean? Yeah, not a big surprise. Uh, Brianna Malone in the control room tonight. Thank you, Brianna.